Welcome viewers, I am Mamta. Continuing chapter 3, today we will be covering the techniques of stress management. Now understanding coping, moving on to the concept of managing stress, how to handle stress. Once we know that we are facing a lot of stress in our day to day life, once we are aware that there are conditions which are putting us under a lot of pressure. Now comes how to handle them, how to manage them, how to deal with them effectively so that we are able to come out of them successfully. We have six management techniques under it. Most of the workshops on stress today are focusing on these areas, how to manage stress once you know that you are facing it. First technique is a relaxation technique. Now this technique as such as the name suggests relaxation. Now most of the people misinterpret it to be only mind related relaxation but it is not so. It is actually dealing with the body relaxing. So when, when the body relaxes automatically the mind relaxes but relaxation technique by and large focus only on the relaxation of the body so that the body system calms down. Now how is it done? Now for this you need to sit straight with your back straight and this technique is from the legs to the head. So at the point the feet are contracted first. So just contract your feet and feel that stretching and then after doing it for 10 seconds then relax the feet. So once you do this contracting of the feet then you further move on to the lower legs. Again feel the tightness in the lower feet just below the knees for 10 seconds do it and then again relax it for 10 seconds. This tightening further moves on to the knees, tighten it for 10 seconds and then relax it for the other 10 seconds. So like this tightening and relaxing from the lower part of the body then the thighs 10 seconds contracting and then relaxing for 10 seconds. This is known as progressive muscle relaxation. So muscles are first tightening up, feeling the stress, feeling the tension and then they are relaxing or lightening, releasing that accumulated stress. Then it further moves on to the rest of the body, particularly the hands and the back muscles where again tightening is experienced, the neck muscles again where tightening is experienced, the shoulders tightened and then loosened up, the facial muscles tightened and then loosened up. So that is progressive muscle relaxation from the lower part of the body to the upper part of the body. Now it's important to do such techniques over a regular basis. If it is done for one day and then left over for a month then it will not have its impact. So it's very important for regularity if you really want to curb your stress. Second concept that we have which is the second strategy to calm down the mind is known as meditation. Now this is a very centered you know very concentrated centered and focused technique where a person is still is aware of the present moment. So here we are not really doing anything because a lot of people feel that what are we doing when we are meditating and they are really scared of the term called meditation because they are so scared of sitting all by themselves they are so scared of sitting idle and they somewhere feel that you know if you're not doing anything not with a cell not with a tv not with talking to somebody not with a book what do we do and that basically shows how much you're stressed out because you are not even ready to sit with yourself you're running away from yourself you're not even able to spend time with yourself which comes as a bigger stress buster because here we are escaping our own selves we are feeling lonely from our own selves now this is where meditation comes in very handy there are different types of meditation which ultimately have the same purpose and there could be a meditation uh, propagated by one particular organization, there could be one for another but ultimately they have the same goal of relaxing your mind to calm down your mental muscles and to relax your mind and for you to get in touch with your own self. Let's look at a kind of meditation, I'll demonstrate the technique. Here you need to sit with your eyes closed comfortably with your back straight and with your hands on your knees. Just focus on your breathing. With your eyes closed, become aware of your breath. 
each and every breath that you take is within your focus not even a single breath is outside your awareness when you breathe in become aware of this breath become aware of where it travels in your body from your nostrils to your throat to your chest muscles and to your abdomen when you breathe in expand your abdomen like a balloon and slowly fill in the air the fresh air the oxygen and when you breathe out visualize all the toxins being released from your body all your focus in all is on this breath now visualize a golden light entering your forehead this warm golden light is covering the whole of your head so warm and so light moving on to your forehead the portion between your eyes the eyebrows it further relaxes and moves on all the features of the face the ear the throat the neck muscles it further moves on to the shoulders to both the hands the elbows the fingers of both the hands the skin and the muscles further moving on to the back muscles the upper part the middle part and the lower part of the spinal cord further moving on to all the internal organs of the body the heart the lungs the pancreas the kidneys the gall bladder energizing relaxing all the parts of the body it further moves on to the abdomen the thighs moving on to the knees the lower leg the feet the skin the muscles and all the fingers of the feet as well as the sole of the feet now the whole of the head to toe the whole of the body is very very relaxed now rub both the hands put it slowly on the eyes and slowly open your eyes welcome back after meditation a very quick glimpse that you got about what exactly is meditation now this is what makes you feel so light the sensations in your body the bliss in the body when you connect with your own self and when you relax yourself any outside awareness is totally blocked and you are totally in tune with yourself this is the beauty of meditation when you are in total connect to who you are as a person so obviously you are in the present state of awareness there is no stress of the past or the future Okay let's move on to the third point of stress management which is biofeedback a very technical technique which is used by doctors through a machine it's a you know apparatus for helping people understand their own biology suppose a person is suffering from migraine for so many years now a lot of wires or electrodes will be attached to the person's brain and through that the messages will be communicated on the computer screen So suppose I am thinking about a very stressful event of my life of my past the moment I think about it there is a migraine attack which triggers and on the screen it flashes the kind of changes my body is experiencing at that time if my heartbeat goes up it is reflected on the computer screen if my blood pressure shoots up it's reflected on the computer screen so this is what tells me that this particular issue is the cause of my migraine attack or my particular health problem that's why this technique is known as biofeedback biology's feedback is given through a machine through an apparatus through the wire so my brain messages are sent onto the computer screen and i get to know 
this is what makes me realize you know a lot of people have cuff because of thinking the moment they think about something or there's a stress on their mind automatically it triggers cuffing and this they assume to be very normal cuffing but then this is a stress related stress triggered cuffing so this is how biology's feedback is given by the machine to help you reduce your issue which is triggering that problem fourth technique is known as creative visualization now this technique is a very interesting technique which is rather used in a lot of areas of meditation and otherwise creative means we are trying to innovate new techniques of what of visualizing or imagery so like what we did in meditation also you were imagining the golden light helping and working on your body this is known as visualization now suppose i'm very upset about something somebody said something to me which i did not like when i come back home and i'm thinking suddenly my thoughts change to something very positive the person said earlier or a very positive experience with that person or i go to a particular scene which i enjoyed in a vacation so i start reliving that particular situation which i enjoyed obviously now i'll start feeling better because the moment i change my thoughts from the negative to the positive i will start feeling better this is the beauty of our thoughts although they are very automatic and we do not even realize how quickly they have an impact but then this is how visualization works every thought creates an image in our mind it is on us how we create it because every thought is in our control if we choose our thoughts consciously and deliberately we are getting back the power to control our life and to attract different situations in our life the way we want it exactly so this is known as creative visualization where what you're trying to do is you are trying to imagine and visualize using your imagination power in a very creative manner next technique that we have is cognitive behavioral technique a very good therapy as such a very specialized form of therapy also cognitive behavior technique as the term suggest it deals with the thoughts it deals with implementing those thoughts into the behavior and how do we do it we basically try to identify the negative thought patterns which are affecting the mind and identifying those negative thought patterns in fact in this we are trying to understand maichen bohm's self inoculation training technique which basically means that a lot of self instruction self counseling self talk is being done and through that people are able to understand themselves and change their behaviors accordingly so this self instruction technique involves three processes we also call it as self inoculation because we are inoculating ourselves we are preparing ourselves for the situation that we are dealing with in a very healthy manner now this has three steps first we assess or identify the situation that we are facing the stress that we are experiencing once we know what is leading to stress because a lot of people are not even aware as to when they are stressed out and what is the cause for their stress what are the factors which are making them feel so low down and out so once you are able to identify that second step is that you are trying to use various stress reduction techniques you are trying to learn new ways of calming yourself down and handling the situation effectively obviously when a person is calm and composed the person can look at a situation in totality the person can handle a situation very very effectively it does not mean that you don't have energy it just means that you are dealing in the present situation handling it in the most effective manner so this is about the stress inoculation last part of it is using it in your in your daily life last technique that we have in stress management is exercise now this is a beautiful technique which normally most of us neglect because we do not really care for ourselves we say that we don't have time for getting up early in the morning or doing any form of exercise but that's a myth if we prioritize ourselves if we are important to our own selves if we value ourselves definitely we'll be able to take out time for whatever form of exercise that we enjoy some people like to go to a gym for doing an exercise some people like to go for swimming some people do aerobics or dance the others go in for yoga there are various kinds of exercise that you can take up but the most important point remains that you have to do it regularly even if you do it 5 times a week as the research have quoted it is going to benefit you 
but there has to be a routine, a regularity, even in the time. So, if you sit for a particular time for exercise, that time should be constant. And number of hours, whatever number of hours you devote morning or evening, that should be constant also. That is about the exercise. With that, we wind up today's topic on stress management. You understood different techniques by which stress can be managed, but obviously the point remains Try and work on your thoughts so that you don't really create any stress. You live in the present moment so that you don't really have to use any management techniques. If you nip it in the bud, you will not be able to really having the need to use any stress management techniques. Although we have understood a lot of stress management techniques, demonstrated also, you experienced it also. So reach at a level when you for your own growth so that these management techniques are at the last resort. That's about it for today. Thank you. Thank you.